If you're using ER style collets and you have not made this simple upgrade, you are missing out. Greetings fellow DIYer and welcome to my video. There is a plethora of ER type collets out there. They go anywhere from super small to fairly big, with I think the ER32 being one of the most common sizes. I have them for all kinds of things in my shop. I've got collet blocks for when I'm milling. I've got a Morris Taper 2 that fits in the tailstock of my lathe. I've got an R8 ER32 collet holder for my mill. And then I've got this Morris Taper 3 that I converted into a drawbar style that actually fits through the bore of my lathe so that it works as a collet chuck for the lathe. Now, obviously, when using it in this configuration, I do lose out on the ability to pass things through the bore of the spindle. But most of the time, if I'm using ER32 collets on the lathe, I'm working with fine pieces, short pieces, and that's not a feature that I need. I am thinking of getting an ER40 collet chuck for my lathe, at which point I will have the ability to pass things through the bore. About six months ago, I was on a Facebook page and somebody recommended getting one of these. This is a bearing ER32 collet nut. And I thought, well, for less than 20 bucks, we can give that a try, see if it works. And I was amazed at how much using the bearing style collet nut improved the functionality of my tooling. Now, what is a bearing style collet nut? Well, this center section actually has bearings in between the center section and the outside, so that when you spin the nut, the center stays stationary. And that is different than your standard nut in that it is basically one piece with then a spring retainer on the inside that does have the ability to move a little bit, but is still a lot of friction on the nut and on the tooling. So there are three benefits to this style of nut. Eh, there are two and a half benefits to this style of nut. Okay, there is a debate over whether or not one of the benefits of this style nut is actually a benefit. And I'll go over that in a minute. But there are for sure two benefits to this style of nut. The first one is prolonged life of your collet holder and prolonged life of your collet itself. And the reason for that is we're significantly reducing friction. When you use a standard type nut and you're tightening it down, there's actually material inside the nut that is rubbing up against the collet. And in that moment where there's friction on the nut and there's beginning to be tension and friction inside the collet holder, we get a little movement that will, over time and a lot of use, wear both of those parts. The bearing style collet nut, the centerpiece spins. And what that means is as you tighten the, the nut down, the collet is stationary, the center of the nut is stationary, and the only movement is just the tightening down action. So we no longer have friction inside the collet holder. We no longer have friction between that ring there and the lip of the collet. And there's a lot of benefits to that. As I said, reduced friction is going to reduce wear. And so that's the first benefit. The second benefit, and this is why this is such a huge improvement as far as I'm concerned, is that you can get this nut tighter than this nut. And that just increases your holding power. As I said, I've been running one of these for about six months. I wanted to put it through its paces before I did a review here on YouTube. And every time I used this nut, I was able to get it a little bit tighter, which meant that there was never any issue of slipping. And it was also easier to loosen and tighten. 
In other words, when you're tightening it down, you don't have to really reef on it to get the same amount of tightness that you would on this. And when you go to loosen it, it's not that hard to loosen it, where when you've put max tightness on one of these stationary nuts that doesn't have the inside bearing, it can sometimes take a little bit to get it loose. By going with the bearing style, you can really tighten it down and increase the holding power. And those are the two confirmed advantages of this nut. Longer tool life and more holding power. And as far as I'm concerned, those are enough reasons to purchase one of these. Did I mention I got this for less than 20 bucks? To me, that's money well spent to have the ability to make the tool more functional. Now, the third benefit of this nut, and again, there is some debate over whether this is a legitimate improvement or not, is that it increases accuracy. I didn't notice any accuracy increases. I didn't notice any accuracy decreases. I'm working with budget collets, so there's sometimes a little bit of variance, not a lot. And maybe if I was using more premium collets, I would have noticed a difference. But I did not personally see any increase in accuracy by going with this nut. And even the manufacturers say it's going to prolong tool life. It should increase your ability to tighten the nut. And its purpose is not to improve accuracy. So like I said, there is some debate whether or not that is an actual benefit. There is one downside to this nut, and it's only in certain applications. All right, if we look at this collet block, you can see that the places for the spanner wrench are on the top. So if you have a wrench that is completely enclosed, you can easily put it over what you're holding and come down onto it. If you have this one, because the holds on the bottom, you would have to come up from the bottom and tighten it, which with the collet block, you could totally do. You could take it out of the vise, get the wrench over it. But in some cases, that's a little more challenging. If I'm working on the mill right here, and this R8 collet holder is up inside the mill, I'm not going to want to have to drop this every time I need to tighten or loosen this nut. So in that particular case, you do need to use a collet wrench like this or one that is half. They make some that are, are half instead of just the single arm. Because once this is in this position, you're not going to be able to get into these grooves from the underside where your tooling is. I got this on eBay. I'm going to put a link in the description for not only the ER32 collet nut, but all the sizes that this particular company carries. They're extremely affordable. Like I said, I paid less than $20 for these. I actually have three now. I'm never usually using more than a couple of my collet holders at any given time, but I figured if I had three, I would be changing them out less often. And I could not be more happy with this purchase. Now, I paid for these. This isn't a shameless plug where they're giving me free stuff and I'm giving them free advertising. I am extremely happy with how these worked. And so I wanted to make this review and let people know that upgrading this $20 nut from the stock nut that came with all of these makes for significant improvement in the use of these tools. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them down in the comments. I'm extremely happy with this purchase. I definitely can't argue with the price. And frankly, I wish that I had done this a long time ago because it has made such an improvement that it was well worth the time and money to get the bearing style call it nut. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.